How fast does the Model 3 charge on a version 3 in the UK? So, we go in here, let's just do it through the filter, let's have a look. So you press this little icon down here, it gives you all the chargers. And I've just got the, the fast chargers on, which is the superchargers, and let's look for a 250 kilowatt one. Maybe I'm wrong, there it is there. Leeds White House, 250 kilowatt is 60 miles away. Let's see how many more there is in the UK. So I mean, on here, as it stands, this looks like it's the only one. So there we go, Leeds, 250 kilowatt supercharger. And we are on our way. So there we go, on the way to Leeds, let's find out how fast this baby charges up. We're in Leeds, the car is preconditioned in the battery for the supercharger, which is great. It means we'll get the fastest charge speeds out of it, hopefully. I've got I've got about 50% battery, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect the charge speeds too much. I think the car charges fastest in the middle, in around the 50% range, so that should be good. We should get a nice, a nice charge speed out of it. We shall see. I want to get peak charging, so we'll see. I'm about one, I'm 2.5 miles away from it right now, and yeah, hopefully. There's some 250 kilowatt charging stalls available. Otherwise, I've driven down here for no reason. And um, we get to see how fast this thing charges up. So let's head on down and find out. Let's go. So I've been seeing a big Tesla logo. It's actually a Tesla service center. That's why they've got the V3s down there. I did not know that. So we'll get to see some other Teslas as well. Maybe they'll have a Roadster. Well, Model S outside, Model X, Model 3, a few Model Xs. There's no, uh, there's no roadsters, but bloody hell, some of these cars look tidy. It looks like we're here. I think these must be the 250 kilowatt V3s. They've got a much thinner cable, which makes me think they're not, but they must be. I've never seen a cable that thin before. Let's, um, Let's go outside and have a look at this, because bear in mind, I've not seen this in the UK yet, so it's quite interesting to me. I know a lot of the guys in, in the States have seen this, but this is my first V3 charger I've ever seen. I think, I don't even know if it is a V3. Just look how, how thin the cable is. It's so much thinner than the ones I'm used to. Let's, uh, Oh, it's so, it's so tidy. Let's have a look. It's so much more uh, sleek. It's not heavy. It's not like lummoxy to pull through. Thinner cable. It's taking a charge. Quick, off to the races. It's off to the races. Let's have a look. This is the bit that I like. 302. So it's already limited as at 66 kilowatts for some reason. That's frustrating. Meh. I'm not impressed at all. Right, a little update guys. Um, so the car was charging at 66 kilowatts, so not very fast, uh, and it was doing around 250 miles an hour of charging. So I've, had, I've only had a 25 miles of charge. Um, just spoken to a Tesla rep who came outside, and he said the reason that it's not charging at the full speed is because you've just popped in to get a charge. You're not destination charging, so I'm not going to i am not got a destination set, and I'm not doing a long distance, so the car's not prioritizing, the, the chargers aren't prioritizing me to supercharge the vehicle because I need to go somewhere. So they try and free up the energy for the cars that are going somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop back here in a few hours or so with a destination in the sat-nav, uh, which is over 100 miles away, and then precondition the battery better as well, and then hopefully, get the fast speeds out so so far it's been a lose situation guys it's a few hours later 
I'm going to navigate to the Supercharger Leeds Whitehouse Street UK. I need to trick it into somehow thinking I'm doing a long journey. So let's put in London. All right, I put in London. So I'm going to navigate on my phone and I'm going to go to the Supercharger. Um, I'm going to make it look like we're going to London to the car, see if that makes a difference. So before I was getting about 66 kilowatts and 250 miles an hour. And if any, I think if anyone's thinking of, um, oh, this is a bit stupid. Like, why would they do that? I actually completely agree with what they're doing because if I arrive to a supercharger and I'm really, I'm going far, and you're going just to travel, uh, just to top up your car, I can understand why they'd want the person who's going far to be put through faster. Um, it clogs it up for every, it, it unclogs it up for everybody. So we're going. I'll be there in about ten minutes or so. Okay, guys. We're back and I'm trying to fool the charger now. I've been told the gen I have to fool it. So it says stay below 75 to reach the destination. I'm hoping it goes, oh, I'm at a supercharger. Let's give this guy some big old juice. So I've got 116 miles on the in the tank, as they say. And I'm gonna go plug the version three in now. Let's get back out. So this is the fake trip that I've set for it. I've told it that we're going to London. Um, so let's see if I can fake it. There we go, handle again. Pressing it. Plugging it in. It's taking it, let's... Off to the races as normal. Let's see what it's capable of doing. Didn't look like it. Mm. Guy's lying to me. Right, guys. It ain't happening. 43 kilowatts, 200 miles. Because I haven't pre-charged the battery, because I can't, because I'm doing a, I'm not doing a long journey, so I'm not pre-charging the battery to go on a long journey. Apparently, I'd, it's, it's a little bit complicated, if I'm being honest. So, what I'm gonna do is come back to Leeds. I'm gonna drive back to, I, I drove down here to do this video, and now I'm gonna drive back home to Nottingham and uh, come back another day to do this. But I'm gonna try and make it so I've only got a certain amount of charge for when I arrive in Leeds, I need a full zoop up. Okay, so I did try another charge install, still 200 miles. I know the battery's not preheated, but um, I think it's mainly down to this location thing. I'm gonna do a little bit of research. So when I head down here next time, I can try and get the V3. Back to the drawing board, guys. What's going on, guys? Today, we're gonna find out how fast the standard range plus Tesla Model 3 chargers on a version 3 supercharger, one of the only ones in the UK. Let's find out. I'm in London, I've got like a few percent left of battery, and somehow I've arrived, I'm pretty sure, at a V3 charger. Now the way it looks like, the, I think it's a V3 charger, is the cables look thinner, and the uh, wires look thinner. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reverse the car in, the car's here. Press the little button. And that's it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, now here we go. So I'm in low at the moment. So we're getting 368 back uh, hours, 370 miles an hour, 81 kilowatts. It's not, uh, it's not the speeds I was hoping for, but that's just, I've just plugged it in. And obviously we're low battery at the moment. We'll see once we get up to this point if it speeds up. Okay, this is the fastest charging speed I've ever had. 136 kilowatts and we're getting 620 miles. Oh, dropped down again. Don't know why that happened. But yeah, we're getting 620 miles an hour. So this is the standard range plus Tesla Model 3 on a version three supercharger and it is doing 600 miles now, but it did get up to 620. It's just been getting slower and slower. So the highest that we got was around that 620 mile mark. Now we are down to 320. So from 620 to 320. Now it's done it fast, but for some reason it slowed us down. Now I don't know if that's because I've got enough range to get home now. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer and see if it uh, speeds up anymore. So this is the speed guys, we've come right down now. Um, to 200 miles an hour. Now, I think there's a reason for this. I think the reason that we went, we, we peaked at 620, the fastest speeds I've ever seen. 
620 miles, which isn't that fast, if I'm being honest. I was expecting more 800 to not to 1,000, 800 to 1,000. Is the car limited at 650? I don't think so. I think what's happened is to get me to my supercharging destination, as soon as that happened, the car started to slow charge again. So now it's slow charging. I don't, I didn't need that much charge to get to my destination. So I think it was peaking right up to, to get to the fast charging point. And then as soon as I had enough range to get home, it started to trickle back down again. So for the last 10 or so minutes, it's been charging slow. And I think that a lot of that's down to the fact that I've got enough charge to get home now. The car's communicated that to the charger and it wants me to get on my way. I think that's a very intelligent thing for Tesla to do. It promotes people just getting on the way. But with all that being said, I wish there was a way to override it uh, when the charging points are empty like this. So we're at a V3 charger, lots of lovely, I mean, no one's been here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop it now. This doesn't accommodate for those old Teslas. This accommodates for the new Teslas, the new Model 3s, and the Model Y is soon to come, and obviously all the cyber trucks and all those kind of things that are soon to come. So for you guys, it's a bit rubbish, these new chargers, seeing these in the UK. Hopefully, um, something changes for that in the future. Anyway, guys, there you go. How fast can the standard range Model 3 so range plus model three charge on a v3 supercharger in the uk well so far we've clocked 620 miles i'm hoping i can get a better test for you guys like i said i think it was throttled once it realized i had enough charge to get home with all that being said what do you guys think do you think you can charge faster because i'm going to find out and i want your guys predictions as always if you think about buying a model three link is in the description get your thousand free supercharging miles it gets me a thousand free supercharging miles which today it's helped me save. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it said £9 at one point. So thank you guys for doing that for me. Um, you have been wonderful. As always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.